attracted to it to this particular spot. It comes all with different angles. Many different angles. And a uh, high contrast between light and dark. So you know, Doing the layout in the mechanical pencil, and then you're going to come back with the sketch and wash. Yes. Sorry about that. Yeah, but because now when I hit the sketch and wash, I play with two different uh, pressures and shadings, cross hatching, where I know I want to take it and dissolve it. So, the sketch and wash. I'm going to, I haven't put the, uh, this was grabbed by regular drawing pencil. Now I'm going to put in the, the, the shading of Sketch and wash pencil, and then I'll do the then I'll do the water right there and soon thereafter with my handy little bucket. Oh, beautiful little sketch in five minutes. if you're going to do a ton of wash. Yeah, this is just, and I know about how much after a while that this will disperse out so I can just get it started mm -hmm. and it will uh, you wear know. out, you know. So I'll come back and thicken up a few areas and that'll give even more. I love the texture. I just might not even brush this one. I just might let the texture of the, of the lead, you know, mm -hmm. tell the story there. So when you started your your sketch, it was like you were doing a thumbnail almost, you created a window. Yes, so you I uh, finally wanted to make it smaller than the full size that I've been painting, knowing I had a mat that was going to be this size. So I, I, I kind of did the proportions and I looked through my finger to find that same proportion, you know, there. Uh -huh. And then I blocked in the biggest simple shape that I could, you know, with these uh, rectangles. So that once I had that one, everything that became more of that balcony you know, come into play from across the street. Right. And then you expanded it just out. Up, it's going to be a, just a value for planner, lights and, lights and darks. Play with some lights and darks. And I heard Bob ask that I didn't hear the answer. All the different angles. You know, angle the roofs, angle the breaking up of the roof of the white roof, the baking, you know, coming across, the yeah. telephone pole, even the truck, the sign sticking out, the deciduous tree leaf, you know, and then the, the tiles, you know, and then the balconies, you know, just all these different up and down, in and out. You know, and I'll come back with the charcoal white, and I might just blacken some of this out. It's the, it's, the, it's, the sketch and it's the sketch and wash pencil that I, I broke the lead and just didn't want to waste it. So it just it just fell out of here. So that's that sketch and wash. So it's a watercolor pencil, but only it's black. back you know before it's dry and just re-edge a little bit.
this side. So I'll use sometimes in places a reservoir for dark that's dissolved. It's just a black and white study for that purpose. And then you can pick it. Where then, because then in a in a studio, I would I could have a focal point here and do another scene, and have a focal point there, and have another scene, have it over here. So instead of taking any you know one of my sketches and, and locking it in to almost making it difficult to see it as a a different candidate with a different focal point, so I could have a different color harmony. I could have a different. So this yeah this exactly this design arrangement is you know is what's gonna. What drew me to it? There you go. Because I can't, I can't make up that up and down and in and out and thick and thin and you know and over and under well enough. I don't like to copy the same painting, but I, it's such a good, you know, potentially it's such a good design. Mm -hmm. Why lose it yeah. for only one, you know, piece of art? Well, and you'll make it look uh, exciting. Because when I look down that street, I, I wouldn't take that picture. But you, that's what I meant when I said you make the world more beautiful. You see something that wouldn't catch anybody else's eye. And you have the colors and your strokes that is make it into something. That is my mission, yes, exactly. Well, well stated. And it, it isn't that I'm doing a better job of rendering the objects. But instead, I'm taking, I'm using the objects, I'm using, you know, this building to play up, geez, it's light, lights and darks. The asymmetrical, I mean, two on one side, one on the other. Thank you very much. Which guys are you playing? No. You don't remember? Yeah. One time a week, they're not always here. So instead of, in this foreground, you see it very dark, I could you know, could create the silhouette of the things, you know, or I just think a, uh, it, it inspires a dark shadow, so, I mean, we have this dark shadow that we have in the foreground enveloping it, you know, which I could, you know, take in with the photograph that I'll have afterwards, you know, supplement the silhouette of the figure, the, you know, the flowers, even the car, and so forth, and at this point, I don't need to, I don't need to lock that. that design element in just yet, I feel. Do you think about connecting the dark? Yes. And if there's a, a uniqueness to the light, I will connect the light as well. So we're going to be using it as a reservoir you know, for pigment. I love that hill, it's got a wonderful uh, top line to it. It's got a nice design to it.
regular pencil now. I'd be coming back and just cleaning up a few edges with the regular pencil. Subtle ones I use the uh, white pencil. outward you know so I like you know showing how this you know scene somewhat evolved you know so there's kind of a very minimal line a lot more line and then line and shade and then all the above you know so it's it's the it's showing the superstructure in a way you know so it adds I think a little uh, artistic uh, character uh, when I have a, uh, like a bird carving uh, the one that I wanted was the bird carving. The, the, the head was finished and the middle of the body was, you know, half finished. And the back of the body was just uh, burnt only and the, and the rear was just the, the, the basic shape. It wasn't even carved, you know, and so it showed the, you know, some kind of showing the, slowly the evolution of this. Uh, Beautiful. Thank you both. Thank you very much. And the crowd went wild.